Alrighty, hello everybody, it is I, the Willowgy Big Mac, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, we bought us some more time for, uh, for the current, uh, for the current case we're on. And in case, in case you guys are joining in, first thing first, why haven't you watched the first part of, of this turnabout? But, but to summarize, basically, uh, our defendant, Will Powers, is accused of murdering, he obviously didn't do it, and well... We don't know who did it yet, but we have some reasonable doubt. Woo, what a day. <clears throat> this is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and the pr and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. Well, let's talk to Maya. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, let's go to the detention center and talk to, well, Paris. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We, we got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't re rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Let's see, anything we can talk about? The fanboy. Do her fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. The security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they they were often hanging around? The kids, the kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Well, so the director present at the morning run-through. Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just to keep this, well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. This has nothing, that has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. And that when he loses, he's gonna lose big. I, I, I say, whose side is she on? You're hiding anything else from us, aren't you? Uh, no, I sure hope not. Alright, uh, uh... We're gonna get it from, uh, old... Old Bag. No one's here. Right. Now that they have, uh, Miss Old Bag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone to else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station. Look, she left her donuts. What? What? I wasn't gonna eat them. Well, let's let's go to the employee area first. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey, hi, W WP's work, lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Trial, great job, guys. Oh, 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 don't mention it. Is it true that they called the security lady? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> actually, she she just actually she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I, I, I know. I'm not good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of, lots of time they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh. oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a bit, a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Bag. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. Okay, so... So the so the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through, through the drain? So it seems. I guess they, cover, they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy will be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. I feel, I feel kind of sorry for him. Though, don't you? What do you want? To rip the grain off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Um... Do we... Do we not? That is the question. Hmm... Fuck it! Anarchy! Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay, you know, Nick. You're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, yeah. There. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. 
Ah. Oh, nope. The drain grades off, and I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't that make you feel great to do a good deed like that? It must be nice to live so free of guilt. There's a half-finished backdrop stage back here. Looks like a castle. Probably, probably neo old Tokyo castle. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people want to cycle to exercise? Oh, hey! No! I... What? I can't select the, the fucking ladder? You're joking, right? The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on... Uh, uh, we... We did all that, huh? Uh... Well, that's... Well, that's a disappointment. Uh, move. Let's just check, double check the dressing room real quick. This is where the, the Theo Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at the very least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh, she's got a point. Salmon. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Supermarket Tabloids? Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave us alone. Wolf men found on Mars? I have to buy that issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Nick. What now? These snacks, they passed the expiration date. Then don't eat them. They're snacks. Oh, they're snacks. They're meant to be eaten. There's an array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, that wig was using some old TV show. Samurai Boogie Woogie, Nick. Get get with the picture. <clears throat> Look, explain to me how you can identify a show just by seeing the wig. I'm a kind of like samurai movies. Kind of. It's locked, I guess. Uh, you don't open it. Looks like someone's sleeping here. Yeah, I don't really see anything else that could be... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, nope. Uh, see you main gate. Oh, hello. Oh, you look, you look a lot out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Let's, let's talk to her. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, a lot of mucus in my throat. I mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area. Yep. Can you believe it? Fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think that there's that many of them. But I do see one particular in a bunch. He's always gawking at, at sets or snapping pictures. You just see old windbag's eyes flash uh, when she sees him. He's a bit of trouble catching him, though. I heard something uh, at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here on the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they, I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. Or the producer, really. Producers are a real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Interesting. Let's move to outside studio one. Hey, Nick, it looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at two days' trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the f with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. That's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Before we do that, let's go inside uh, Studio 1. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go, I want to go someplace else, Nick. 
Alright, nothing else here. Outside Studio 2. This is this place is deserted. Eek! Nick Nick! What what was that noise? Sounds like you came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Uh, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What don't don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. So what what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If the, if they'll let us. Before we do that, let's uh, examine here. There's some flowers here. Oh, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get that close. The fa that fence looks dangerous. Oh, and you don't see the fucking bent fence post, Phoenix? These look like materials for making movie sets. They've been seen. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This this might as well be a junkyard. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this this. This is part of some temporary film set. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What's with, with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak, but something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It, it just feels odd. A light fan for moving staff and equipment around. They kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it's run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Hey! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? An incinerator. Apparently, they just put this one in. It's already covered in suit. They must not clean it too much. Well, then, we might as well... We might as well head back to, to the... Studio main gate. Actually, hold on. Let's talk to Penny. Okay, nope. Okay. Oop, nope. Not that. Examine. Huh, looks like it's been turned off for the day. Overhaul map. Of... Oh, please. Don't touch anything in there. Security lady would not... Knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want that keen trailer. Maybe next time. Alright, well let's let's head back let's head back over and then head back to Studio 2. Because we can't move anything else. Hmm. Well, we might as well start just continuously moving around. Uh, play area. Let's see. Dressing room. What the fuck? Who are you dudes, Lamau? Who says to weep? Huh? Wait, where... Wait, you first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. How can how can you not know the great Salma, Salmonella? I make dead... I don't understand what you're trying to tell me, bro. I make the lead show, show the Steel Samurai. Mine, RTFC, read the film credits. But really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry, I just... You look so... I'm sorry. No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine. Ugh, rawful. Well, what is it? You know, on closer inspection... Yeah, hot, hot, hot. Ew, ew, get her... Hey, do, do you do a lot of cosplay? Because that costume... Roxers. Ew, he's drooling! Roxors? What, what, what? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? Oh. Buffer overrun. <laughs> You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to The Seal Samurai. Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. 
Oh my god, Ruffle. Oh, wow. P Pink Princess? Why's it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't they have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maybe really need to talk about cool. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who Jew dudes are. The security lady told told you about us, eh? That's right. It was pretty. It was a pretty regular day. I should probably be putting on a nerve voice. It, but uh, I can't do a good nerve voice, so uh, <clears throat> and my throat's kind of shot. Refer, refer to the last episode for that. It was a pretty regular day. We had we had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Yeah, <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone a T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, so sorry. I hate missing out. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until after four. With the producers and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was meeting with you. Oh, you mean Dee Vasquez? She's a genius. Max kills all the way. Scary, though. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had, you had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we, we were together from noon to, to 4 o'clock p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few produ production guys. They piled into a limousine and got and got here right around noon. Major tension. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all great hair geezers. Oh. Sounds like they all be reliable witnesses. Hmm. Well, that's about that's Ah! Ah, old bag jump scare! You again! Eek! How rude acting like you've you've seen a ghost. You you certainly got back in your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They, they pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me, put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw... As soon as they saw there, there was no way I could wear it. They let me go. I guess I would rule out her being a murderer. Anyway, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight, a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talk talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. This lady's too much. Um, about that kid you saw. The you saw. Him. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> Miss, I think you need some time alone. I'm just gonna... Ignore you. And we're just gonna go over here. Uh, we're, we're, okay, we can't do anything right there. The trailer door, it's locked. The key's probably in the security guard station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. Uh, oh shit, I'm kind of stuck at the moment. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh good, calm down, excellent. Oh, what's this? Main entrance to the studios. They probably have a police officer on patrol out there. The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the carry gamut. Hey, no touching! Guess I better investigate there later. Uh, 
I think, yeah, there's nothing much else we can do there. Let's head back to the employee area. Hey! Hey, wait! I bet he came in right through that drain. Um, hey, kiddo. What's your name, Sport? I'm not a kid. Don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you're... You are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way... That's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here. Hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think... I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me kid, kitty old again. I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer. So you're, so you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! Aha! You can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last? Line said by the innkeeper in episode eight. Ha! Easy, like some fries, like some fries with that. Hmm, not bad, kiddo. Watch it. What are they doing? See, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see? Did you see anything? He he. He always. The seal samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, no way I'm telling you, losers. What? Wait. Let me go. And he, he's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was it sitting there, I wonder? Sleeping pills? Saw everything. We got... Okay, so... Okay, that's... a lot. Huh? What's that old windbag? Out of her, leave it to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Oh, she tripped. My sure looks happy. Uh, we can probably, we can probably nap the key. Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Yep, let's just, let's just nab that. Alrighty, then move. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Oh, excuse me. I should, have, I should have muted for that, but you want? I don't give a shit. Oop, nope. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. Trailer! The signal sam... Someone's here. In here. Names. Oh, our names? Uh, we're WP's lawyers, and, um, I see. And who you might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the, mur of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for I'm looking for a script. A, a script? The Steel Samurai, episode thirteen. I need it. Um can we ask you to build it? I need to read it. Hmm. We're getting nowhere fast. I'm willing to bet we we probably won't get any information out here. Let's uh we really like to talk about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about it. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV? Never. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Sal Manella, was it? What are exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't... Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It certainly looked like that. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manella, give him this. 
Why do we have to do your errands? I don't think it, I like your <laughs> Don't cry. She'll take that as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. Well, I know what we, I know what we must do now. A, a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Kind of annoying if you ask me. Well, well, we know he's in the uh, dressing room. Present. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me this, huh? Bring me the script for episode thirteen. Episode thirteen. Where did I? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. Mm -hmm. Look, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely have been. I agree. Well then. Well, the only likely place he probably could have left it is Studio One. So let's head back to the Studio Main Gate. Outside Studio One. And inside Studio One. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out here quick. I think that should be it. Hey, look! That's the chair of the director sits in. I always wanted to sit in one of these. The director. All right, take a look around. That chair, would you, would you for me? Remember, that script the, the director was talking about. Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh. <coughs> Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Steel Samurai script. The cover reads episode 13. Up. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Well. Let's uh, move to Studio 2. Present. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah, script handed to DMS, guys. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quite. I'm re I'm reading. Just so hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? My eye wouldn't go Pirates Lawyers. Um, right? Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes. Anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes. With the director and people from the network. Correct. Now, listen closely. None of the people on this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? How is the path blocked? Hold on. Alright then. The blocked path. On the day on the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw You saw Mr You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? But Mr. Monkey. The monkey with the broken head. Alright, oh, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. It didn't start moving. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three, three o'clock. It was four o'clock by the time the path was unblocked. Capisce? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until four o'clock. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? what? It's true. The crane came just after three o'clock to move the head. We called some people to clear the way, and I'm sure they collaborated corroborate my story. But wait, what if the hell fell over at 2.30? Then he could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. 
Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announces the time in oops. One oop per hour. Oop, 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 oop. Always with the ooping. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. The pass was blocked from 2.15 till after 4 o'clock. Therefore, we're innocent. I'm going to die in studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan out a strategy. Well... Fuck. Ranko Law of this. We should probably consider all options. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Oh, it's Mia! But Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I I'd say so. <coughs> what do you mean? We have one lead. Just, uh, make sure Okay, we're still recording. Excellent. The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way, I'm telling you, losers. I don't know, he didn't sound like he's, he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find a way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go... You should. We should go back to the studio. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. I'm now more, I'm now more worried than I was before. <sighs> <clears throat> oh man, there she is. Demon lady again. <sighs> what, what's wrong? <sighs> Whippersnapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When I catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had luck catch him. I... Got a hostage now, with Whippersnapper. Hostage? Uh, what happened to the boy? If, if I see him again, I'll... I'll lay him flat. My, what a fine little lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Ha! <laughs> My heart. I don't feel so good. She okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where... for... Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where she died. Where he died. What's this about a hostage? <laughs> when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all the huffing and puffing. Phoenix, the hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. No, I'm catching that threat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix. Do you have anything to trade that they might trade with her? A trade? Hmm. I wonder. Uh, you know what? I, th I think I have a the card key. Hey, that's a that's a card. Huh. Studio one, right? Car key for two studio one. I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. How's his fan? You don't have your own karma soul bag? Studio one is in my turf. You'll let me borrow it. Borrow it then. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here we go, Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having depths uh, to no whipper snappers. You take this, we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai train card? That sneaky that sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty much it's pretty important to him though. I think I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Alright? Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling uh, towards this Well then 
we time to let's go to the employee area hey hey wait a second Phoenix was that the boy yeah his name was Cody Hackins I think he ran to the dressing room Should be here somewhere. I'll do. Damn it! He's getting away. Come back. There. He's back. How did she? Hey there. Would you mind helping us help, please? I'm I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fay. Nice to meet you. Yo. And then things right. Who asked? Thanks. You can you can take it from here. I'm not sure I'm qualified. Uh, let's give him the. Cody, does this look familiar? Hey! You're, uh, you are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you two. I'll, I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my card. Offer me something that I already own. You're in effect. That's screwing the very basis of consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. And for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need the card. Huh? I got double. Just keep it, it's yours. What? After all, I went through that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are, are way rarer than, than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? Fucker. Well then. Well, we, well, we don't have access to... We don't have access to Studio 1, so... The only place we can move... Is Studio 2. Uh, trailer. Oh, hi! Oh, hello! What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes. Some girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, she seems the same... Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Good old gaslighting. Talk. Fanboy. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope, you missed it, though. The scary lady was chasing it around after that boy so fast I thought she collapsed. Of course, she got a, he got away in the end. Boy, she, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of, of Hammer? Yes. It's a really terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been, had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened, after what happened... You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, now you ha now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer. I'm I'm sorry, I'm probably not the one you should tell who should tell you. No, why do I feeling like I'm? Why do I get the feeling something is being covered up here? Well then, uh, I don't suppose she would have a use for these. You know anything about this? Hey, that's a, that's, that's a Steel Samurai training card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. Complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. I don't know how long I've been looking for it. Um, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, but I need that card. Please, I beg of you. Please trade with me. Trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a... Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can you see she's separate? Yeah, it was trade. Okay, really? Thanks. Then this is for you. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Alrighty then. Why are we at time? The gate's still doing good. Uh, inside Studio 1. Studio Main Gate. 
employee area. Move into the dressing room. And then, see the chart? Yeah, so, wait, that's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card you need. Come on, give it to me. Please, you gotta give it to me. Right, okay. How about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a steel sandwich. And throw in as evil magistrate to boot. No, no, no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what, what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Alright. We no longer... We can talk to him. So you like to see a samurai? He's so cool. He's so cool. I, I guess. You're just judging him by looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on... I'm being lectured on life by a schooler. like him too, don't you? Um, oh, me? Yeah. I um, love the Steel Samurai. So, tell me, what's your favorite thing about Steel Samurai? His fighting skills. I like, I like it when he uh, vanquishes his foes. Yeah, was am. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures. It's like, it's all pictures of Steel Samurai. Got every life for well, every life performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take his picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. What's that? Got them all. Never miss one. A perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. <coughs> well, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai, Path to Glory. See how Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What a life. So, you're here the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody. He needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto for great justice? You have to help us fight great justice for great justice too. I saw I saw everything. Cody, I need you to ask something very important. What did you see the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so the old lady wouldn't see me. I kind of got lost though. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, water's probably not going to help me much with this. <sighs> I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his Samurai Spear. Like, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast I got scared. I went home after that. I see. See, it must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. I'm right, Mia? Yes. I think we can say for sure that this means that the Seal Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed, so the only person who could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock, but if you put this boy on this witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. This boy here is a key to a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You gotta the rendezvous with me. Or why am I why am I talking with uh, Gumshoe in my regular voice? God damn it! You've got a rend rendezvous uh, with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wow. That didn't go so well. We're back at to see your leads, and now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Bitch, just leave it out. Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. She's, she's not coming, is, isn't she? She is not showing up one bit. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, folks, that was a long one, and my throat is probably... Or my voice is starting to die a bit. So, 
So for this, so if you guys enjoy enjoy me killing my killing my voice, please consider subscribing. It will help the channel grow, and I would really appreciate it. Also, be sure to like and comment so uh, so this video gets pushed on the algorithm, so so more people can hear me uh, kill uh, kill my own voice. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're probably gonna go to trial again. With that being said, have a good one, folks. Bye bye.